In this video, we are going to discuss Graphical User Interface or GUI. So, Graphical User Interface GUI provides the user graphical means to interact with the system. The GUI can be combination of both hardware and also a software. So, using GUI, user interprets the software and interacts with the software. So, in case of GUI, we can use both the software and as well as the hardware. So, typically GUI is more resource consuming than that of the CLI that is the command line interface. So, with advancing technology, the programmers and the designers create complex GUI designs that work with more efficiently and accuracy and with more speed. So, obviously, this GUI designing is a challenge because the user should feel a very comfortable and convenient and user friendly environment to interact with the software. So, at first we are going for the GUI elements. So, GUI provides a set of components to interact with the software or the hardware. So, here we have shown you one sample uh, window. So, here you can find that we are having this window manipulating icons. We can maximize the window, we can resize the window, we can close the window. So, these are the window manipulating icons are there. Here we are having multiple tabs. So, if you click on a certain tab, the respective icons will be uh, coming. If you click on another tab, the another set of icons will be coming. So, here we are having the respective icons. So, icons are nothing but uh, small pictures are there. So, on this particular peak, we can click on, on our mouse using our mouse. The mouse is the hardware and this is, this is the respective icons are there. You can double click on them and obviously, we know that then the respective operation will be performed. Other is also we can have the touch screen where you can touch the screen and the respective icon will respond. So, here we are having multiple different options are coming in the side pane. So, here we are having this slider and here we are having this status bar which will be showing the status of the software. So, every graphical component provides a way to work with the system. So, here we are having the following elements we are going to discuss on. So, first one we are considering the window. So, a area where contents of the application are getting displayed will be known as the window and contents in a window can be displayed in the form of icons or in the form of lists. If the window represents the file structure, then we can having the multiple files and what are the respective folders and subfolders they will be coming accordingly. So, if the window is representing a file structure, then the content of the window can be displayed in the form of a list or the set of icons. So, it is easier for a user to navigate in the file system in an exploring window. So, here we are having window that is a windows explorer if you consider the windows operating system we are having the windows explorer. So, where you can explore our file system through that option through that window. So, windows can be minimized, resized and maximized with the size of the screen. They can be moved anywhere on the screen. A window may contain another window of the same application called the child window. So, these are the different aspects of the GUI component that is our window. Next one we are going to discuss tab. So, if an application allows executing multiple instances of itself they appear on the screen and separate windows. Tabbed document interface has come up with to open multiple document documents in the same window and this interface also helps in viewing the preference panel in the application and all modern web browsers use these features. We know that if you open one web browser then we can we can we can see multiple different websites and they will be coming in different separate tabs. So, we can close the tab, we can create a new tab where the, within the same window we can have multiple different websites and their respective displays. Next one we are considering the GUI component that is menu. So, menu is an array of standard commands grouped together and placed at a visible place inside the application window. The menu can be programmed to appear or hide on mouse clicks. So, this is, this is a menu. So, we can have different kinds of menus are there. We are having the menus and sub menus, the context menu. So, so many different types of menus are there where multiple options can get listed. 
So next one we are considering is icon. An icon is small picture representing and associated with an application and when these icons are clicked or double clicked or using the touch screen if you touch that respective icon the application window will be opened. The icon displays application and programs installed on a system in the form of small pictures. So icon will be having a small picture and along with that there may be a text line. Next one we are going to discuss that is our cursor. So interacting devices such as your mouse, touchpad, digital pen are represented in GUI in the form of a cursor. On screen cursor follows the instruction from hardware in almost real time and cursors are almost are also named pointers in GUI systems. So whenever we are finding say just consider one text box where one cursor is blinking and if we type a text immediately we get the response from the system and the corresponding text will appear whatever we have typed on that respective text box. So they are used to select menus, windows and other application features. So these are the different GUI components we are discussing here. So now let us consider one application window. So most application windows uses the construct supplied by the operating system but many use their own customer created windows to, to contain the certain components of the application. So this is known as the respective application window. Next one we are going to discuss that is our dialog box. So it is a child window that contains message for the user and request for some action to be taken. So let us suppose that is one dialog box which is containing options say about retry cancel or say ok. So these are the dialog box which usually appear on our screen. Now as a user we should interact whatever the options are given we can interact with one of the options according to my choice. For example application generate a dialog to get confirmation from the user whether it should delete a file or not. Next one we can consider the text box that provides an area for user to type and enter text based data. Next one is the buttons. So that imitate real life buttons and are used to submit inputs to the respective software. You can click on the button and the respective operations will get part list of radio buttons. So in case of radio buttons, it might be having say two radio buttons, but either one of them can be selected at a time. We are having the checkbox. So function similar to list box when an option is selected, the box is marked as checked. Multiple options represented by checkboxes can be selected. So unlike your radio button in case of checkbox, you can select multiple checkbox at the same time. We are having the list box. So provides a list of available items for selection. More than one item can be selected at a time. So here you are getting this radio buttons. We are having two options, digital or analog. You can select any one of them. We are having multiple checkbox and you can select multiple number of check boxes at the same time. So it is for the for your reference. So other impressive GUI components are sliders, combo box, data grid, drop down list etc. So here you can see that here we are having multiple days are there you can put a tick according to your selection accordingly. So here one very, very common window which we usually get when we are trying to take some print especially in the windows environment. So here we are having multiple things are there. So drop down list can be obtained from here, radio buttons are there whether you want to print all the pages or certain number of pages whatever. We are having this edit box so you can type something here so that is the from this page to that page you can mention that one also you can call it as a text box here. There is a check boxes you can go for multiple selection at a time. And there is a dialog box is there, buttons have all also been shown, there is a OK or cancel whatever you require to do. So this is a respective one sample window and where we are having multiple GUI components are deciding on this respective window. So in this video we have discussed graphical user interface with some examples and diagrams. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.